Ecstasy. Ecstasy.
ecstasy. This is Alcabea the Analyst, and today I will be talking training camp day 11. Of course, you guys seen the highlights and clips in the beginning, but let's talk about it. Get my perspective of what happened. This is Alcabea the Analyst. You know, we always got to start with Jalen Hurts day. 14 to 19, one touchdown. Elliot Short Parks gave him a C for the day. I, I don't get it. Throw, what, 75%? Hmm. 14 to 19 sound good to me but i did see reports that there were a couple balls that was underthrown but to me based on the stats the 40 yarder to quest Watkins, um smitty doing his thing sound like hurts had a good day but hey i wasn't there to see it so i got to take these guys for their word said some balls were underthrown um they said something like two defenders. I think it was Anthony Harris and Zach McPherson, which Zach McPherson had a bad day. Ran into each other, so left Smitty wide open for the touchdown. I don't know, but once again, I'm going off. They were, one guy said Avanti Maddox, another guy said Anthony Harris. Blew the coverage. It was one of those guys. I'm not sure who it was, right? But to me, based on the stats and the things I read, sound like Hurts had a good day. Elliot Shore Parts gave him a C. Based on the numbers, I'd give him a B. Maybe even an A based off the numbers. Um, Welcome back, Smitty. Welcome back, Smitty, man. Been a couple practice. Well, he missed like four to five practice. Didn't play the preseason game. I had fans a little worried. But growing injuries, you want to be cautious. There's no reason to rush a guy back to practice training camp. Pretty sure if it was the regular season, he probably would have played the next week or probably just missed one week. But train the camp, get all the rest you can get. No reason to rush you out there. A.J. Brown was holding it down anyway, but Smitty made his presence felt. He made his presence felt. Um, the touchdown I went over that Jalen Hurst threw to him, had a couple good ones in the red zone, and everybody's like, welcome back, Smitty. Smitty was doing his thing. That Smitty Hurts connection was right back to par. It wasn't because A.J. Brown is there. Now it seemed like Smitty is not getting fed. No, Smitty was getting fed. He beat Bradbury on the one-on-ones. Got the touchdown talked about between Anthony Harris and Zach McPherson. Smitty had it one hell of a day. So salute to Smitty and welcome back. Kaiser White. Kaiser White forced a fumble on Kenneth Gainwell. I heard Jalen Hurst do it to Kenneth Gainwell in the flat. Kenneth Gainwell was running out of bounds. And Kaiser White got there so fast from sideline to sideline, Kenneth Gainwell wasn't expecting it, and he stripped Kenneth Gainwell while he was still in bounds. So count as a fumble. I think that was more of a better play by Kaiser White than a bad play by uh, Kenneth Gainwell. 
But that's why you got to play to play all the way through because you got a guy like Kaiser White, that's a hunter, got a strip fumble. So, and you usually don't hear guys fumbling in training camp, but Kaiser White stock continues to go up, man. I mean, Kaiser White is a dog. He's a dog, man. So, salute to him, man. I hope he had one hell of a year for us because it's been a while since we had that linebacker. And Kaiser White is pretty young. So he can stay here for a while. All our linebackers, like the core guys, TJ Edwards, Kazir White, uh, Davion Taylor, N'Kobe Dean, Sean Brown, all those guys are young. So these guys could stick around for some time. Um, Diller fights. I want to go over Diller fights. I mean, I'm hearing Diller got into a fight with David Burnett. Then Diller got into a fight with Patrick Johnson, who bull rushed him, and I think Patrick Johnson got the best of him. And Diller got heated. And, you know, I heard they call all oh, Howie Roseman over, and they took Diller to the locker room. They not sure if it was an injury or it was like, yo, Diller, you got to chill out. Got to chill out, bro. You can't be fighting back to back like that. Um, I, I, I just think Diller is probably frustrated or – the, the defense had no respect for him. It, it got to be either or. But I heard Derrick Burnett and Diller always had a history. But then you add Patrick Johnson to it. Like, come on, Diller. Got to chill. Still got to chill. Those are your teammates. You got to chill. Um, but, but Diller is just probably frustrated. And Diller is in one of those positions. It's like he could start for a lot of teams in the NFL. It's just unfortunate that he's on a team where – you got Jordan Mulata, who is a top 10, probably even top five tackle in the league, or I should say left tackle. If you want to put top five left tackle, I think he's in there. But top 10 tackles, including right and left. I mean, Diller is just in one of those unfortunate situations. Um, lastly, I want to get into Quest Watkins. Quest Watkins, continue with his presence being felt. Got the best pass from Hurts of the day. I heard it was just clean right in the basket. Nice 30 to 40 yarder. And I heard the ball was in the air for 30 yards. So it was a nice non route. Zach McPherson get beat. Um, I think Josiah Scott was over the top. Josiah Scott got first team reps at safety. Kind of made me a little bit concerned about safety, especially the reports I've been hearing. Uh, it was Josiah Scott. And Zach McPherson, who got beat, he just burnt both of them, got behind the defense. Hurts put it right on the money. Um, man, Quez is, Quez is not playing. He like, I'm the fastest guy in the league. I believe in his head, he believes he's a top receiver in the league. And he, he's going to prove that. That's why, to me, that number three spot should be him. But Pascal is battling. But I, it got to go to Quez. It got to go to Quest, man. And I believe he earned it. But, hey, man, let me wrap this up. What do you think and how do you feel about the practice today? Jalen Hurts, Kaiser White, Diller Fights, Quest Watkins. I wanted to talk about Zach McPherson, but mm, I hold off on that. You pretty got a gist of his day. We're talking about Quez and Smitty. But this is Alcabir, the analyst. Ghost.